Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Cyronic. Now, this might be a random topic to talk about, but let's just say I know some people who are saying that the FNAF fanverse and the FNAF franchise itself are basically one and the same. So, before we get on to talk about that, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and make sure to join the Discord. Alright then, let's get started. Now, for those of you who are unaware on what the fanverse is, let me go ahead and explain it to you. The FNAF fanverse is basically where anyone can take the FNAF characters and just do that whatever the heck they want with them. Yes, anything. But many good things have come out of it, such as the special strike from the hottest dog. Let's see, we got End of the Memeverse, and we got the Interviewed series from JGAMS. I believe that's how you pronounce it. But, yeah, we, there's a lot of, um things that came out from the FNAF fanverse that were really good. But the real question is, are these FNAF fan projects the same? Like, is their story the same? Does it have to be the same? Or what? Are they the same or are they not? Quick answer, no, they're clearly not the same. Anyone who says that they're basically the same knows pretty much nothing. I mean, you have to look at the story of what they're trying to tell you. With the Hottest Dog Special Strike and Derpy Horses and in the meme verse, William Afton does not exist there. There are no kids, haunting animatronics, none of that. They're both about, you know, saving their universe from an evil, you know, something like that. Now, JGEM's um, interviewed series is in fact kind of based on the FNAF lore. It's about, yes, William Afton killing kids, they go to haunt. Um, animatronics, but it's not like, you know, you have to spend five nights in the actual pizzeria. Uh, there's apparently a military government, whatever they are, called GEMS, and they are trying to hunt down the animatronics to harvest their metal in order for them to have a better advantage on, like, war or something like that. I don't know. But all of these are disconnected from FNAF. Every single last one of these series I mentioned are not taking place in the actual FNAF universe. In Special Strike and End of the Meanverse, FNAF is just a video game. It's not real. At all. It's just fiction. While the animatronics themselves are, you know, sentient beings and, you know, they just do whatever the heck they want. But yeah. The fanverse series and the actual series itself are not connected whatsoever. That means you can go ahead and take the FNAF characters and do whatever the heck you want with them. Whether they be, I don't know, humans or you actually make ships of them. Why do people do this? Just why? 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 Why do you ship animatronics? If you ship animatronics, you need help. Stop it. Get some help. But, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you have a great day. God bless, and see you later.